Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new. So my voice sounds gross because I just woke up. So that's really cool, but I really need to film. So I'm like, you know what? I gotta get on my grind, you know, and film. I look really nasty right now, but that's all gonna be fixed because I'm giving myself a purple makeover. I got this idea from Kennedy Walsh like a long time ago, but she gave herself a pink makeover or a blue makeover. I honestly don't remember, but I'm giving myself a purple makeover. So I'm gonna have purple hair, purple makeup, purple outfit, and hopefully I look a thousand times cuter than I do right now because what I look like right now is pretty tragic. So if you can hear like construction-y noises, that is my dad. Um, he's working on my sister's room. And if you hear a lot of that, that's my chair. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but I am. So let's just get right on into the makeup. Enough of this dilly dallying, a little dallying, daddling. Enough of this diddy, dilly, dilly daddling. Whatever. I know that I need to get pretty because I feel <laughs> not cute right now. So we're going to start with like eye makeup. I usually do my face makeup first, but I feel like there's going to be a lot of fallout with this makeup. So, so I think the best palette to use would be this Morphe palette. This is the 39S palette, the such a gem palette, and it has a lot of purples as you can tell. So hopefully we can make something work with this because yeah, hopefully. What should I do first? It's too early. It's too early as it is 1 p.m. Okay. I guess I should do my eyebrows first. Good. Now I'm probably going to speed through this or cut through this because I don't talk when I do my eyebrows because it's really hard for me to concentrate and I want them to look good today even though they never look good any day, but it's okay. Yeah, I'm already not talking. So... I'll get back to you guys when my eyebrows are done, okay? Okay, so the brows are done, but now it's time to get the real party started. So I need to prime my eyelids to get a nice base or whatever. I love how I'm talking about this, like I actually know how to do makeup. Okay, so we're just gonna buff out this concealer, cover up all those gross veins that I have in my eyelid. I don't know about y'all, but that's one of my biggest pet peeves is my veiny eyelids. Thanks for joining my TED Talk. I'm honestly debating right now how much effort I want to put into this makeover because I think either way I'm probably not going to look the greatest. So now that we're done with that, we can get into the fun stuff. So I think my plan for the eyes is to just kind of do, I don't know if it's called a halo it's not good, or a cut crease, I don't know. Something like that where my lid is going to be glitter, it's going to be like cut and then just a normal crease. Up. and then winks this is the hard part figuring out what is even gonna look good okay so i think i'm gonna do this for the crease this color and this to deepen up the crease and then this as my lid i think that's how it's gonna go hopefully it looks good fingers crossed let's do this boys what do we have to lose nothing oh yeah i thought doing my eyeshadow first was gonna be a good idea because I foresee a lot of fallout with this purple eyeshadow and then I can just like like this ugly but I can just like take a makeup wipe and go you know and it'll all be fine I low-key think there's some brown mixed in here because I'm getting some brown up on the top and it kind of looks weird I don't know how ham to go with this I'm really not the best at like experimental makeup I'm not really the best at makeup at all in general but like with this kind of makeup very very not the best because i don't really play around with a lot of colors i don't like i just i don't know what looks good okay and that's gonna be made very clear in this video low-key look like i have a black eye but it's okay now let's do the other side yes queen honestly just go like that and i'll all be fine i wish i only had one eye so i didn't have to worry about this looking symmetrical. Like, I wish I was just a cyclops. And that would just be so much cooler. So, also, if you're wondering why I'm, like, looking up and over you, it's because my mirror is right behind you, so... And that kind of looks like 
booty, but it's whatever. Now we're gonna take a little smaller brush into that darker color that I chose. And just gonna put it, like, less blended up, you know, just kind of right in that line. Me talking about, like, I actually know what I'm doing. That's a good meme. Purple eyeshadow is low-key hard to blend. Not gonna lie to you today. And this eye, the one that I'm doing right now, just looks so bad. This one looks better. It's just patchy for some reason. I kind of look insane. It took over. The dark color took over. SOS. <gasps> okay, I need to like blend this all together. Why does that look so bad? Oh my god. Somebody needs to help me. This makeover. I could put gone wrong in the title. Oh my god. Wow. The clickbait. You know what? That's probably as good as it's gonna get. So... Now for the part that actually kind of scares me, the cut crease or the whatever it's called, I don't know. But we're just going to put a little dollop of concealer. I go like that to point out where the highest point needs to be. Cool. You learn something new every day. Now a little concealer brush. Well, it's actually kind of a big concealer brush and just carve out that lid you know wow yep just leave it just like that looks good no no it doesn't mm, this part's kind of hard i'm not going to lie i mean that doesn't look the worst just the edges are really messy that looks kind of bad i need a different brush okay this smaller one might be better guys i literally just keep making it worse Hopefully it won't look as screwed up once the actual color gets on there. Before I mess it up anymore, I'm gonna stop. Now should I set this or just put the color on? I'm gonna set it. Making the decisions. Now it is time to make this look better. Okay, so we're gonna take this brush and um, I don't know what color to do. Visualize what looks the best. Light purple, dark purple. This purple does. Okay. Oh, cute. It hardly shows up. <gasps> wow. Okay, we're gonna need to fix that. Okay, let's see if we can make this work. Okay, it goes on. Loki, hella dark. Should have chose the lighter one. Whatever. Yep, this doesn't look good. <gasps> Ow! Okay. Okay, I'm okay. I'm just gonna give up on that whole cut thing because um, it doesn't look good. I'm gonna go back into that dark purple and try to fix this huge issue that I've created. Maybe with eyeliner... <laughs> Maybe with eyeliner and lashes, this look can be saved. There's no promises. It just really looks like I have a black eye. The more and more that I look at it, but it's okay. Ay, ay, ay. It's like I want to add something to fix it, but I also just feel like if I do that, I'll mess it up even more. So, I don't know if that's the best idea. Okay, I'm going to take a little piece of this makeup wipe and just clean up this disaster. I mean, that already kind of makes it look better. Okay, so hopefully this just doesn't look the absolute worst. I mean, it doesn't look good, but now we're gonna do some liner. This could m save it or make it look a thousand times worse. So we're gonna pray about all we can do at this point. I mean, that what it wasn't sharp at all, but we'll fix it. That wing is so ugly. Okay, we're just doing some thick boy liner because that is the only way to make this look good. And I kind of need to just blend this eyeshadow out a little bit right here. I mean, with the eyeliner, the eyeliner is really thick, but it makes it look kind of better once I clean it up a little bit. I don't, I don't maybe it'll look better. I gotta look at myself straight on. I mean, those angles don't really match at all. It needs to be a little lower. Oh my god, that one is just so thick. Like, how did that happen? How did it get, how did it get like that? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna call that even enough for the wings. I mean, it's not the worst I've ever done. They're just <laughs> really big. But hopefully, these will help. You can use the Lily Lashes Miami's. Okay, I'm gonna try to put these lashes on off camera because it takes me four freaking ever because I could never put them on right. So I'm gonna do it off camera and I'll come back to you guys when I look less beat up or something i don't know okay so as i was doing my foundation um my camera said memory card error so that's awesome but i got the lashes on in person it kind of looks better i think but on camera it kind of still looks a little whack but 
but it's okay. But I also just primed with the Too Faced Hangover Primer, and then I'm using the Anastasia Luminous Foundation um, to try to make my skin look better because I'm having skin issues. But I think that's good for foundation. Now we're gonna need some concealer. So I'm gonna be using the NARS concealer and my Laura Mercier powder because they're the best. Here, nose, under the eyes. I just set my concealer right after I blend it because I like always feel like if I don't, it'll just be creasy and ugly. The nose can wait until after the eyes are done. Can't tell if I like doing my eyes first or my face first because it's honestly kind of hard to do foundation and concealer when you have like winged eyeliner and stuff like that, but it seems to be going okay. Now we can finally set the nose. I go so overboard with powder. I need to relax, dude. I have to sneeze but I can't because then my eyes will water and then my eyelashes will come off. Pineapples, didn't work. Pineapples, kind of worked. Let's choose what bronzer we want to use. I think I'm gonna go with my Hula bronzer. I just have this little world of blushes. Blushes from Benefit. So I guess we'll just start on the forehead. You know, get some dimension up in this boy. I don't know why I like tap everything, but I just like can't help it. Everyone clocks my bronzer and they're like, oh my god, you put on way too much. And I'm like, you know what? Yeah, I do. That's because I like to look tan. I don't really bake. For that long because i just find that unnecessary and i'm impatient i'll leave that side to bake a little bit longer i mean sure that looks good enough goodbye powder wow we love a tan queen this next part is a little bit of a struggle bus for me um nose contour i'm gonna just stamp it on there first wait i kind of did my nose contour good today who is she my nose contour is always dark leave me alone it's none of your business for blush i'm gonna use the same palette but i'm gonna take dandelion and rocketeur and just kind of mix them like so honestly i'm not gonna powder under my bronzer because i just don't freaking feel like it we're gonna do some highlight now which is the best part i'm taking jeffree star sarcophagus and we're just gonna really make this whole thing better wait do i have a purple highlighter no i don't okay so we're sticking with good old jeffrey i'm taking a little tiny brush do the best part tip of your nose and then i gotta do a brow bound and we're just gonna set this I'm not gonna do lips yet just because I don't know what I want to do so we're we're gonna move on to the wig I'm a little bit scared <laughs> first I should probably take this down and like braid my hair or something I mean it doesn't have to look good because it's just going in a wig anyways so do two little pippy lawn stocking braids and call it good yeah I haven't brushed my hair yet today so that's probably a problem but it doesn't even matter that's why we're wearing a wig. Also, this wig that I got, um, it's just from Amazon. It was like 20 bucks. So don't expect anything great, okay? I also don't know how to like make a wig look good. But we're really gonna try, I swear. There's one braid. Oh my god, you know what I should do? I should do that TikTok where it's like just in the bad thing. Try to prank people that I dyed my hair. They're about to be shook. Okay, now we're just gonna, I'm just gonna take some of these clips and just clip them off. This one to this side. Like so. And we'll take this one and flip it to this side. Uh. <laughs> okay, and then I have this that you're supposed to put on your head. Oh my god. This is tight. Um, this is probably the ugliest I've ever looked. Okay, guys, we're done. <laughs> We're done. Now it's time to whip out the wig. So this is her. She's a little bit snarly. I don't really know how a wig is supposed to get put on. Oh my god. Yep, perfect. I'm not gonna glue this down because what's the point? I mean, she doesn't have a hairline. I mean, a part. I kind of feel like a mermaid. This is like weird. I don't know what these hairs are. Where did you come from? And this doesn't look real at all. I'm gonna try to, oh my God, relax. We're gonna try to straighten her and see if that helps. I like how I keep referring to my wig as a her. Guys, how the heck do you make a hairline of a wig look real? Um, confused it's just so long too okay so i'm gonna go and try and make this a look a little bit more realistic i don't know how try to like blend it in i guess because this is gonna probably take forever so i'm gonna catch you guys when it looks a little bit better than this okay so i just put on the outfit and i didn't really fix the wig 
that much because I don't know how. So, we're gonna leave it like this. I don't, it doesn't look, I mean, it doesn't look the worst, but I have this skirt just with a black top and I'm gonna take a picture and see if I can prank anyone on Instagram. We'll see. Okay, but yeah, this is kind of the finished look. Having a wig is kind of fun. I mean, it doesn't, honestly, it doesn't look the worst. Like, hi, it's Mars, I have purple hair. It's just like a lot of hair, that's why it doesn't look like me. But my camera is about to die, so I'm gonna go. I love you guys so much, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little makeup, a little hair. Yeah, don't clock me for my bad wig in the comments, I already know, thank you so much. To see the pic I took with this look, go follow me on Instagram, I'm gonna put it right here and it's gonna be at the end of the video and down below. Also to make sure to follow my other social medias, so they'll be down below as well. And at the end of the video, subscribe, turn on your notifications, comment down below what you think, give me some wig tips because I need them. But yeah, I think that's it. I love you guys so, so, so much and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.